Welcome to rebuilding a large old twin cylinder steam engine. This episode, which is part 8, covers repairing the base casting. As you can see clearly here on the video, the holes in the mounting lugs are not in the right place, and to compound the problem, the mounting lugs are not in the right place either. The original base casting pattern must have gone a bit wrong. I can't do anything about that, but I can do something about the position of the holes. So I'm going to re-drill the holes, but first I need to plug up the existing holes. This is a cast iron base plate, so I have some cast iron here that I'm going to machine to fit in the holes. The smallest diameter cast iron I could actually get was 1 inch, so I'm going to machine it down to 5 16 of an inch diameter. This is a simple plain turning job, it'll make lots of swarf, but eventually we'll end up with 4 pieces, 5 16 of an inch in diameter, by 1 inch long. I don't wish to be too long winded on this because this is really the rebuild of an engine. But if you want any more details if you're a beginner, please have a look at the Model Engineering for Beginners video that covers repairing common mistakes. And a common mistake is to drill a hole in the wrong place. Sometimes you can scrap the part and just make a new part, but I can't really scrap this base plate because there's no way I can get a replacement. So I'm having to do it the hard way which is to turn down a really nice piece of cast iron, which is 1 inch diameter, down to 5 16 of an inch. It is important to use the same material if you're plugging a hole. For instance, do not use steel in a cast iron bed plate, because when you come to re-drill, the drill will wander into the softer cast iron. I need to end up with 4 pieces of cast iron, 1 inch long and 5 16 of an inch in diameter. Here you see me machining off the centre, because I don't want a centre hole left in the work. I just need four little barrels of cast iron to plug the holes. These are not a tight fit in the hole. I'm using Loctite 603 to hold them in position. Nor are they a rattle fit. Almost like a piston fit is what's required. And then tap the piece into place using a hammer. But go steady, you don't want to smash the base casting. And if it's too tight, you will smash the base casting, so be warned. You need to put just enough pressure on, and not too much. After the Loctite 603 has fully cured, I'm using a file to clean the top surface. And here you see me using a washer to help me find the centre of the lugs. I can't be too precise on this part because none of the lugs are the same shape, and as I mentioned earlier, even the lugs aren't all in the right place. Following the centre pop from the centre punch, I went through with a quarter drill first, then opened up the quarter inch hole to 5 sixteenths. A good thing about that is if the quarter of an inch diameter hole was in slightly the wrong place, I could file it round, but I try not to bodge like this, I try and get it right in the first place. Quite unlike the original builder of this engine, who seemed to drill holes just where he felt like drilling them at any given time. It's easy to talk, though I've been doing this for quite a long time, and you develop an eye, you develop a flair for where to drill the holes, but it doesn't always work out like that. But in this case, the holes are now in the right place. You can see how far they were originally out. When it gets bolted down to the stand, all the bolts will be in the middle of the lugs, and it looks much better. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful.